Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise and to give him all the glory. Today is the day, hallelujah, that the Lord has made, and I mean every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God, hallelujah, who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, hallelujah. And all the time, God is good. He ain't this good sometimes. He ain't this good half of the time. He is good all the time. Even when it seems like things is not working out, he's still good. Even though when it seems like that things is falling apart, it's still good. Even when you're crying out to his name and he's not answering you and you think that Jesus is ignoring you, Jesus is still good. Glory be to God, he is still good. He is good all the time. That's why it's so important, my brothers and sisters, to always pour your heart out to Jesus. To always, always have a conversation with him. It does not matter what's going on. It does not matter what you're going through. Jesus still expects to hear from every last one of us. He understands what's going on. He understands your circumstances. He understands your situation. Jesus is the only one that can help you, my brothers and sisters. He's the only one that has the antidote and the cure for your problems. So why not go take it to the master? Why not go talk to him when he's the one that cares about you? That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us and he has it in the palm of his hands and he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, God, we just come before you on this beautiful blessed day, this awesome day, this amazing day, the day that you have made, Heavenly Father, God. We're so glad to be a part of it and always rejoice in it. We thank you, Heavenly Father, God, because you make all things new each and every day. We thank you, Father God, for the favor that's on our life. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing that's coming our way today, the breakthrough that's coming our way today, the miracle that's coming our way today. Father God, we are expecting something from you today, God. And God, we know, Father God, that you're going to work everything out, Father God, to your prayer for will. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you continue to have your way with your sons, your daughters, even myself today, Father God. You continue to lift us up right now today, Father God. You continue to, Father God, to make sure that that smile stays on our face, Father God. That that glow continue to shine through us right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we're going to continue to put our faith and our trust and our hope into your hands right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you are the one that's in control. You're the one that's in charge. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your love that you continue to give us. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, God. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Heavenly Father God, that we're ready to be at today, Jesus. But right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, give me all the thanks, give me all the praise, give me all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God. We're going to continue to exalt your holy name. We glorify your name. We magnify your name, Father God, because you are King of kings. You are Lord of lords, O Heavenly Father God. O Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and should not return by void today, Father God. O Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Glory, hallelujah. Did I know for a fact that you're about to show up? Did I know for a fact that you're about to show out? 
I believe and I declare and decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will, you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Jesus, for you to lay hands on every night one of my brothers and sisters right now today. I know they here right now today, Father God. Allow their cups continue to overflow right now today, Father God. Allow their lamps continue to burn right now today, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, for the healing and restoration for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Jesus, for you to send them a sign right now today, Jesus. Send them an angel right now today, Jesus. Father God, just whisper in their ear right now today, Jesus, and let them know that everything is already taken care of. Let them know, Father God, that everything is going to be all right. Let them know, Father God, they ain't got to worry no more. Let them know, Father God, they ain't got to stress no more, Father God, because Jesus, it's nothing too hard for you. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking for a favor today. And this favor that I'm asking for, Jesus, is for a blessing for my brothers and sisters, a breakthrough for my brothers and sisters, a miracle for my brothers and sisters, that you will open up a door for my brothers and sisters, that you put them out the right place at the right time for my brothers and sisters, that you will send rain and aid harvest for my brothers and sisters, that you will send them the help that they need right now today for my brothers and sisters. And Father God, that's not too hard for you because I believe through your word and your promises, it's already done. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right on your platform. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are confident. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our mind, so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. As we repent of our sins today, please forgive us for our sins today, God. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, and my body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the freedom of my tongue and freedom of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more, you Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. And our God is so awesome. And he is so amazing. Yes, he is. Pour your heart out to Jesus. Today's word is Jesus is going to bring it back to you. And he is going to do it. Jesus is going to dominate for you, my sisters. Jesus is going to dominate for you, my brothers. Do not let your eyes deceive you what you don't see. Don't let your mind play tricks on you. Because a lot of you right now today, you're allowing your eyes to deceive you because the enemy has taken some things from you and you think it's the end of the world. 
the enemy, the enemy has stolen some things from you and you feel like that Jesus can't go get it back. And you say, you know what? It's already gone. And you're giving up. You're already throwing the towel. But Jesus said, no. -uh. He said, whatever it is that you lost, my sisters, whatever it is that you lost, my brothers, he said, I'm going to get it back and I'm going to bring it back to you. He said, he's going to repay you for all the years that all the years that you have lost something that was important to you, hallelujah, that was valuable to you, he said, I'm going to get it and bring it back. And he said, I'm going to dominate. He said, then I'm going to dominate again and again and again on your behalf because you didn't lose faith on me. That you, hallelujah, did not lose trust in me. You might as well get ready because Jesus is about to do something amazing. Jesus is about to do something breath, breathtaking in your life, my brothers and sisters. You can count on it right now. You can depend on it right now. Whatever word that you lost as a child, it could be a toy, your favorite toy. Jesus said, I know where that toy is at. I know who made it, and I know who manufactured it. But guess what? You might be in your 30s right now. You might be in your 40s, your 50s, and your 60s. And you said, there's no way in the world that I'll never see that tour again. You must have known who Jesus is because Jesus said, I am the creator who made all things. So Jesus said, that same little toy that you lost, he said, I'm going to bring it back to you again, and I'm going to bring you another one just in case you lose it. He said, whatever that you lost as a young child, he said, I'm going to bring that back to you again, then I'm going to bring a replacement just in case if you mishandle it. He said, whatever that you lost as a teenager or, or, or in your 20s or your 30s, he said, I'm going to bring it back to you. He said, I'm going to do it. He didn't say, I'm going to think about doing it. He didn't say, I maybe might do it. He said, I'm going to do it. So when Jesus said, he's going to repay you, he said, he's going to repay you double for everything that the enemy has taken from you. Everything that you have lost. Everything is like lost and found. It might have been lost, good God Almighty, but Jesus said, I'm going to find it because he said, I know where all things and I know where everything is at. You might not know where it is, but Jesus said, I know where it is. So that's why it's so important, my brothers and sisters, that you have to stay in the word of God. Because if you don't stay in the word of God, the enemy will make your eyes deceive things that has already been gone, that you'll never get it again. The enemy has a way to start playing in your mind, and he's playing tricks in your head, and he's telling you, you might as well give it up. That situation done. Do not Allow the enemy to play with you like that. I'm telling you right now today, my brothers and sisters, I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today, but Jesus, he's going to dominate. He's going to dominate the next year and the next year, and Jesus said, I'm going to do it. And he's going to do it for you, my sisters. He's going to do it for my brothers. This is the year, this is the season that you're going to dominate, and people are going to say, but how? They were just down a couple weeks ago. They were just down a couple months ago. They were just down a year ago. Now, all of a sudden, they're on top. And the only thing that you're going to say, it was nothing but Jesus. How did they, they lost their situation, but how did they get it back? And how did it look so refurbished? How did it look so brand new? All you're going to say, it was nothing but Jesus. Because at the end of the day, my sisters and brothers, that's all who it was, and that's all who take the glory for it. That's all who take the credit for it. It's Jesus, because he's going to repay you. And I know you've probably been waiting. Some of y'all probably already gave up. Some of y'all probably don't even think about it no more. You probably see no wisdom. It's washed away. Uh-uh. Did Jesus tell you it was gone? Did Jesus tell you it was washed away? Do not allow your eyes to deceive you. Do not allow the enemy to play tricks on your mind, my brothers and sisters. Do not let your heart deceive you as well. Because at the end of the day, it is Jesus that's still in control. It is Jesus that's still in charge. I don't care what it looked like right now. I don't care what it seemed like right now. Jesus is going to bring it back. Everything 
that you lost. I ain't talking about some things. He said everything that you have lost. He said he's going to bring it back because it seems like your relationship with your brothers and your sisters has been eaten. And it seems like it's been gone. And it seems like y'all guys have been separated for so long. And he said, no way it's been, it's been gone this long. I don't see no way that's going to bring it back. Jesus said, I'm already going to bought it back. Jesus is telling somebody right now today that he just restored your relationship with your siblings. That y'all guys probably don't want separate ways. Jesus is telling somebody right now today he just restored your marriage. Even though your marriage has been broken, it's like the husband went one way, the wife went another way. Jesus had just restored that relationship back again. Jesus had just restored your relationship back with your mother and your father. Jesus had just restored that relationship with a, with a loved one that you have not seen in a long time. Jesus had just restored a friendship that's been gone. Jesus is in the, Jesus is in the business of restoring things, refurbishing things, and making it brand new again. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking about. Somebody need to say it's already restored. Because right now, it is restored, my sisters. It is restored, my brothers. Even though it don't look like it. But you got to know for a fact. And you got to know for sure that it's already restored. Because he's going to dominate. And your friendship is going to be more stronger than it ever was. Your relationship with your siblings is going to be stronger and better than it ever was. Your, your relationship with your husband and your wife is going to be stronger than whatever it was because Jesus has restored it. He has refurbished it. He has polished it. He has made it brand new. And he's going to bring it back. And y'all guys are going to dominate year after year after year because y'all bond is going to be more stronger. Your relationship is going to be more stronger. How y'all work together, how y'all communicate, hallelujah, is going to be more stronger. It's because Jesus went back and repaid you. He knew what the enemy took from you. He already knew what the enemy stole from you. See, what Jesus was doing, Jesus wanted the enemy to think that he won. Jesus wanted the enemy to think that he was winning the situation. But Jesus, hallelujah, has already triumphed over the enemy. Jesus has already triumphed over every last situation that the enemy has taken and stolen from you. There's a difference between winning and triumphing. And some of y'all don't even know that. There's a difference between winning and triumphing. Jesus is always going to triumph over every last one of the enemies right now today. And when Jesus triumphed over the enemy, it's already done. It's already restored. It's already yours. So you might as well go ahead and claim it right now. You might as well say, thank you, Jesus, for restoring my relationship with my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring my relationship with my mom and my dad. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring my relationship with my husband and my wife again. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring my relationship with you again. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring my relationship with my friend again. Thank you, Jesus, because I know for a fact that it has been restored. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Let's turn our Bible to Joel. Chapter 2, and we're going to read verse 25. That's Joel, chapter 2, and we're going to read verse 25. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. Look at that strong word. Look at that strong promise. But he's telling you right now, today, my brothers and sisters. He said, I, which means himself. He don't need nobody say, I'm going to do it. He said, you can count on that. You can depend on that. You can rely on it because he said, I'm a man that I'm not going to lie to you. He said, I'm a son of man that I cannot even change my mind about this. He said, I will. He's making a bold statement to you right now today, my brothers and sisters. He said, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. Mm -mm -mm. The great locusts and the young locusts and the other locusts, and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. Verse 26. You will have plenty to eat and to your full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders.
for you. So you might as well go ahead and praise him right now. You might as well go ahead and glorify him right now. You might as well go ahead and magnify his name right now. You might as well go, go to exalt his holy name right now because Jesus has already worked wonders in your in your situation right now today, my brothers and sisters. Jesus has already restored everything that the enemy has taken from you. He already worked it out. All you got to say, do it then, Jesus. I dare somebody say right now, say, do it then, Jesus. If you got that much faith, and if you trust Jesus, and you believe in this word right now, what he's saying, say, do it then, Jesus. And Jesus said, you will dominate. And he's going to bring it back to you. You might have lost some things. But Jesus said, he's going to bring it back to you. Some things might have been taken from you. But he's going to bring it back to you. Some things might have been eaten. But Jesus said he's going to repay you. And he's going to bring it back to you. And I believe you Jesus. I trust you Jesus. And I'm giving you praise. And I'm giving you glory. Do it then Jesus. Because I know that you're already doing it. And I know Father God we're going to dominate. Because Jesus it's already been done. It's already been worked out. You already restored everything. That the enemy tried to take away from me. But Jesus said it was already rightfully yours in the first place. Oh, help me that thing, Jesus. Jesus said it was already rightfully yours in the first place. He just allowed the enemy to take it just for a second, just for a season, thinking that the enemy was doing something. But Jesus, I'm going right back to take that from him. Because Jesus, he can't handle me. He can't beat me. He can't defeat me. But I can defeat him. I can handle him. And I know how to knock him out. So yes, I'm going back to take that back. What he took from my sons. I'm going to take that back. What he took from my daughters. And Jesus said you might well going to get ready now. Because you are going to dominate. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Who I'm talking to right now? Who is this word for right now? Do you believe that Jesus is going to repay you back. For everything that the enemy has taken from you. And if you believe it. Say do it then Jesus. But you might well going to give him praise right now. You might well going to give him glory right now. That's why you got to trust in the word of God. He said, I'm going to repay you. And he's going to repay you, my brothers. And he is going to repay you, my sisters. Amen. Amen. And if this word is for you, and you know Jesus is talking to you, say, Jesus, thank you for restoring. You know what's been lost in my life. I want to give you thanks right now today, Jesus. I want to give you praise right now today, Jesus. And I want to give you glory right now today, Jesus. And if this word moved you today, and if it touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit Jesus' subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he's the author and the perfect of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm seven minutes LT. I love every last one of y'all. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed day today. Amen.